Bucks. Okay. All right. But anyway, uh, we Charles Barkley. Now, Kyrie Irving, you know, he's been in the news uh, lately. First, he was looked like he was going to do a media boycott because he didn't speak to the media initially. We knew that wasn't happening. And the thing was, he released a statement. Because, Rob, James Harden didn't speak to the media a couple times. And a few, a few other players did. And it wasn't really a big deal. Even though we wanted to hear Harden speak, right? Because of his whole trade request. But, me, and you know this, you were a beat writer just like me. Every now and again, a player doesn't talk. And the media doesn't make a big deal out of it, right? Yep. There were practices, Latrell Spreewell and I covered the Knicks. He didn't want to talk. Although he was, Spree was great with the media. But, you know, just as an example. Some player just wasn't talking that day. Fine, no big deal. But when you, it's when you do it consistently. Or well, you're trying to make it a habit, like right. you, Like we're not going to get be able to do our job correctly. Absolutely. Then it's going to be a problem. Then Absolutely. it's going to be a problem. And so Kyrie put out the statement like he wasn't going to talk to the media, and you know he was fined twenty five grand. So was the team. And he realized the error of his ways, and he spoke to the media. It looks like, you know, he'll be doing that going forward, which is good. And one thing he said when he came back and spoke to the media, you know, Kyrie's a different kind of dude. And he talked about, you know, he's an artist, and he just wants a safe and secure workspace. And yeah, the stuff that that was kind of, you know, different. Not what you hear from your average ball player. Uh, but Charles Barkley today, was it today or yesterday? But recently, yesterday, went off on Kyrie. And here's what he said. I'm not sure what point Kyrie is trying to make. And when he talks, I'm like, what is he saying and what is he trying to say? He starts talking about what an artist he is. He's a basketball player. That's what he is. We're, we're not frontline responders. We're not teachers. Yo, man, you dribble a basketball. Stop acting like you're the smartest person in the world. Well, first of all, you're not. You only went to college for six months. A lot of player, a lot of guys are smarter than you are. Just answer stupid basketball questions. All right, Rob, uh, you you were bothered by Barkley's comment. Yeah, I just think that you know um, everybody's not the same. So he's never been the same as most guys who are basketball players, so you can't treat everybody the same. This is who he is. This isn't some act. This isn't him trying to be flip or be funny or be out of character, Chris. This is who he is. And Charles is just making a blanket statement like he should just fall in line. and No, this is who this guy is, Kyrie. And everybody's not – that's the only thing. I will always stand up for people to be different. Everybody's not the same – Everybody's not a dumb jock who only knows about basketball. I'm, everybody's not that guy. People tried to make fun of him when he called out uh, about going into the bubble and the concerns that other players have. I don't, Chris, you didn't bash him. I, I didn't that bash was a good, him. A good we thought that made. that was legit, right? But right. according to Barkley, he should have just been be quiet well, and go to no, the bubble or uh, Rob, say nothing. Barkley did say if he wants to speak out about social issues, he agrees with that. He said those are important, so I got no problem with him speaking out about social well, issues. But, but I'm just saying, but this is who he is. He's not a conformist, and there's just people like that in this world, and we have to accept people. I don't think he's out of character, Chris. I think that this is who he is. I don't know if you saw the video before the game today. Did you see it where he's no. fumigating the Boston Garden? Did you see it? What is he doing? It's like, Rob G, did you see it on? Yeah, he was like, saging the court. Yes. What he's is like, that? Few, like, like, you know, like trying to kill the germs. No, you, so do, you do it to kill the, the bad energy in wherever yes. On is. the court? Yes. Yeah, so he's going like around What was he doing it with? Are. Sage. With like a smoke. Yeah, like yeah. sage. You, you, like you light a piece of sage, you burn it, and the smoke is supposed yes. to clear out any bad energy. So he's energy. Go- walking around, Chris, doing it like in the front row of where the stands are and kind of going all around the arena. Okay. So okay. Uh, how many <laughs> NBA guys are doing that, Chris? Like How none. many people, period, are right. doing that? Okay, but so, I but will give is, you this, Rob. I'll say this. Phil Jackson was similar. Yes. Phil, Phil Jackson was, with his zen, and he used to do, you know, odd things at practices with his team. They meditated. Yes. He did 
things, you know, Native American he was type his own, rituals. Yes, and, sir. That's and all that. So I, I will give you that. I will. That's give you all that. I'm saying is is I think I I, I understand like like I, like you know this. I like Kyrie that he's different, but I came down on him with the media thing. I told you like right. that's a mistake. Like I so it's not like I'm I'm rubber stamping everything that Kyrie does because I thought that was a mistake. That was a battle he was going to lose when he signed up to be an NBA player, Chris. That's a part of your job description. Right. It just right. is that right. you talk to the media and nobody, no, I don't care what star, nobody gets away with it. Nobody. And, yeah. But but in this case, I I just if this is who he is and these are the concerns and stuff he wants to talk about, that's that's on him. Yeah, I, look, I agree. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Kyrie being different. And um, this is a pluralistic society, and everybody can be who they want to be. Uh, you got a right to be you and give me my right to be me, you know, as long as we're not hurting anybody, breaking exactly. the law, and things like that. Um, what I didn't like, and I don't mind Kyrie referring to himself as an artist. You know, in, in a sense, he is, you know. Um I do think some of, you know, people like, it's common for people to say Kyrie tries to come off, and Barkley said this, like the smartest guy in the room. Right. And there is a feeling of that. I don't know if he's trying that, but comment, where I bo- was bothered with Kyrie was when he said, I don't talk with pawns. No, I got that. You know, I, I don't that. waste I, my time and that my attention's too valuable, my time's too valuable, or whatever he said. I got you. Like, first you give us this quote, a paragraph earlier about you're for peace and justice and all that, and then you're going to call the media pawns. Right. And then you deny it after the next day. I wasn't talking about, well, who are you talking about? Who were you talking about? You were talking about the media. If you say it, just say it. And... I, so those are my issues, but I agree. If Kyrie wants to, you know, say things and think things that are different, um, that's certainly his right. I do think he is intelligent, but there it. I don't know if he tries to do it, but there is a feeling he comes off like he does think he's smarter than you, and that I think is what bothers people. That that's fine. I get you know that. it's it's I, almost like like. It, again, the quote, I don't deal with pawns. It's like, oh, you peons who, who don't understand me. You're not on my level. I don't have time for you. That is what people get bothered by. That's what I get bothered by. But I, I'm but not bothered by you saying you're an artist. Because you, you you the way you handle the basketball, the way you move on the court and play is an art form. I got but, no issue with that. But there are a lot of people who are... Uh, very intelligent, who have, who, who who have issues with dealing with other people, uh, prodigies and really smart, you know, people who just can't seem to connect with other people. Chris and he's say, not a genius, though. No, I'm not. I'm not I'm, calling. I'm, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm but not you gonna know what I'm saying, though. But there right. are people like that who are who just can't seem to connect with other people, and, and they struggle with it. I think that's what he does. Uh, probably in another world, he wouldn't be a basketball player. You know what I mean? Like in a, if, 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 it was a, if this was a, a redo, he'd be something else. Uh, he just happens to be a great basketball player. It seems player. like he's searching for himself, which is fine. He's a young kid. You he's know, young, He's trying right? to find himself. He played. He was in college for a few months. And now all of a sudden he, he steps literally into the had world. a couple he's a of million in a sweet right. roll, right? Eight, in eleven games, I think it was, and and then he's all of a sudden a multi-millionaire. So I, and you know, you're finding you're still at that age. You're young. You're finding yourself, and you have all this. You're in a fishbowl. You got all this attention on you. So I, I got no issue with any of that. He did. I first just don't take just with- don't come off like you're better than everybody else. And I think if you don't do that. You can even have some different feelings and viewpoints, but when you come off like you're better than everybody, there's an element of Phil Jack that in Phil Jackson. Like he's in his zen, and he, he kind of came off like he was better than a lot of people. Right. And, and, and I'm that, like, dude, well, relax. Because people didn't know. Like, like you guys right. don't like know. Like you don't right. know the secret knowledge, right. the esoteric knowledge I've got. You know, and, and we'll respect your right to believe your things. 
And but don't diss us like we're idiots, you know, like like because we can if you really want to take it there and start debating beliefs, we can do that, too. And I don't think you'd be liking that. So so just relax with the arrogance and then I'm cool with it. Yeah. You know, and and that's all I'm saying. Yeah. And I just I I think, you know, I understand where Charles, you know, just be a basketball player and answer the questions and move on. I mean, it's, it's not that easy for everybody. I for for ninety eight percent of the players, Chris, that's going to be easy to do because that's all they know, right? For for real, so that for the most part, Charles is right. Most guys get it. That's all they're there for, you know, and that's all. But they you know. think it's difficult for Kyrie? I just I I think he's, I think he's might be a little tortured, you know, like like internally, like, and I'm not, I'm just this is just. Like, well, remember, he said when Adam Silver came out last year or two years ago and said that a lot of the players aren't happy, Kyrie was like, yeah, he's right. Right. That's what I meant, That's what I meant by tortured. Like, like, you would think that their lives would be great. And I just think that there's other things that, like, bother him despite his fame, success, money. You know it's what I mean? He made a movie. Yeah. yeah but but Chris, that's the case. Yeah. it's just not all – Everybody thinks that that cures everything. There's a lot of people with a lot of money and a lot of success and fame who aren't happy. It ain't automatic. I think the thing that bothers Kyrie the most, in my opinion, is the media reaction to some of the stuff he says. I think that's what it is. And and when he said the earth is flat, obviously people made fun of that. Um, When he, you know said, why is Christmas a holiday? People made fun of that, you know. And I think – but my thing is this. You're still on social media. They're making more fun of you than the media is, than, you know, traditional media. Right. But that doesn't stop you from interacting with them. So, you know, look, the bottom line, Rob, I think you're right. I think he's a kid that's kind of searching, finding out who he is. And he's a different – he's a different cat. Let's just – can we accept that? Uh, We can accept that. Yeah, no, he's got a right, yeah. 